Hello, my name is Jason Downer. I am a Jesuit priest from the East Coast province of Jesuits, currently living and working in Saipan in the Northern Mariana Islands. When I was a sophomore at McQuaid Jesuit in Rochester, New York, each quarter our religion class would have a different focus. One quarter we focused on justice. Now I would love to tell you that I remember everything from that class, but the only thing I really remember is watching the movie Romero. I was captivated by this story of a bishop who stood by those being oppressed and was killed by soldiers while saying mass. I was also fascinated because the actor who played St. Oscar Romero, Raul Julia, also portrayed the dad in the Adams Family. Now, I was a sophomore at the time, so you can give me a break with that. But it wasn't until my senior year at Canisius College, almost six years later, that I decided to go to the School of the Americas protest in Fort Benning, Georgia. There are two vivid memories of that experience. The first is the mass the Jesuit schools hosted on Saturday night before the protest on Sunday morning. We huddled under one of those huge tents, and it was a mass unlike any I had ever been to before. It was alive. You could feel the Holy Spirit moving in it. I signed up to be a Eucharistic minister, and when it came time for that, there was a song that started playing. And the song continues to play during communion, at Mass, at every teaching, every year. We are one body, one body in Christ, and we do not stand alone. Over and over again, that refrain would be sung as people kept coming up to communion to receive and become the body of Christ. Now, most people said, Amen. Some said, Thank you. But one person, and I'll never forget this, said, after I said, the body of Christ replied with a huge smile on her face and said, that's right. Now, we are one body, one body in Christ, and we do not stand alone. That's what I was doing there, protesting a military base a thousand miles from home. I realized for the first time the unity of the body of Christ and the harm that is done when it is broken by violence and apathy. The second moment from that weekend is the procession to the gates of the SOA, as the names of the victims of the Civil War were read aloud, and after each name was read, the crowd chanted, Presente. This lasted hours, and there's really nothing quite like it. So here's the thing. Since I'm a priest, I'll stay with the Body of Christ theme, because that is why we do this. When you recognize that everyone is made in the image and likeness of God, and that we are members of the body of Christ, it changes you. I mean, at least it changed me. It changed me to recognize that the body of Christ is broken when someone's dignity is taken away by acts of racism or violence or sexism or classism. And my friends, I was changed when I realized I had committed those acts. I can't brush that away. What that experience and the teaching continue to help me understand is that I'm constantly called to conversion and repentance. After I joined the Jesuits, I had the opportunity to accompany college students from St. Peter's University in Jersey City to, te to the teaching and being held in DC. It's a different atmosphere now than being at the gates of Fort Benning, but it's nonetheless powerful. Because solidarity grows when we were able to listen to the stories of others. And that's what the teaching does. It helps us hear the stories of people we might not always hear from. This is so important to being the part of the body of Christ because it emphasizes that the different parts of the body need to know that the other parts exist and may be hurting. The teaching has helped me to realize that I need to hear these stories in order to live my faith authentically. Listening and getting to know undocumented students helps me to be a better advocate for changes in our broken immigration system. Going week after week to the Cook County Temporary Juvenile Detention Center helps me to fight for criminal justice reform. 
My journey with the teaching started by remembering that we are all members of the body of Christ. And 20 years later, it continues to challenge and inspire me to listen more deeply to the stories and songs and remember that we do not, we cannot stand alone.